Yes, my, my, my point is, it, it didn't quite happen. What we saw was that there was actually a very huge reduction in almost every state. I think in most states, uh, with the number of registered voters, the number of accredited voters, and you even find out that most times, it's not even the number that is accredited that ends up voting. Even though, interestingly, there were also cases where over voting was recorded, and as a result, those polling units were cancelled. Good. We have some really, really interesting figures. In yes, that good. you see, you just made the point. You see, in those places where the cadre that worked, mm -hmm. accredited, no, uh, the number of accredited voters probably may not be the number of people who voted. Mm -hmm. Because within that sh gap, some people will simply walk away. Oftentimes, it hovers around 2%, 3%, or thereabout, you know, so people who just cannot continue to stay, maybe we don't have the staying power, either in the sun or wherever it is, or whatever circumstances, because some of these voting took place into the night, where people now had to use the headlamps of their cars and all of that to continue and all of that. So people got frustrated and walked away. That, uh, that explains that difference. But in places where there was overvoting, that is exactly what I'm talking about. A situation where people needed to use every PVC available, whether or not it belonged to them, to be able to make up their figures. And that is what is responsible for that overvoting. It was interesting that those overvotes, places where that was recorded, yes. they were cancelled. Yeah, sure, they need to be cancelled because there's, there won't be any justification so for So do them. you think that that is so, uh, instead of discouragement? Well, because because if they were smart enough, Marco, if they were smart enough mm -hmm. to keep the number less than the number of uh, PVCs or at least accredited voters, they could still rig up to maybe five percent to the number of accredited voters. But they were over 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 zealous mm -hmm. and then they over <laughs> they, they over rigged. And that is why that's, that's why that translation took but place. Do you, you, you just explained the point I'm making. When you look at the figures and when you look at the number of voters, people say, Oh, there was no voter count. From what we see in terms of the figures, the total overall figures, it would seem that there was a low voter turnout compared with uh, the figures that we have been seeing in previous years, so 2011, 2007, 2003, 2003, 2007 in particular, especially when you look at the figure 24, 25 million the, or overall. Do you really think that this begins to give us a sense? Because a lot of Nigerians know that a lot of people went out on that day. And they also made huge sacrifices. Do you think that this is beginning to give us a true sense of the number of people who actually participate in the elections? Yeah, sure. That is, that's what this portends, actually. Because, you see, we are whittling it down now to real voters. If a, 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 good, a, a good and effective use of the card reader will make it, will eliminate, indeed, the true intention is to eliminate ghost vo voters. So you would recommend it for the governorship elections? Oh, no, 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 no. If it works, it will, it will be very good. It, it will be very good. But you see, before I forget, let us also talk, because I noticed that people who had a footage of it, you know, uh, with uh, uh, what, even though it's overtaken by events, now, because course, has apologized. Uh, that's um, the, the, the reaction of... Uh, uh, Minister of Niger Delta. Mr. Minister of Niger Delta. We must commend Jega. I've never seen a man that has that kind of condor. The candle is or, or with Jega is legendary. If a man behaves that way and Jega remains as calm as remained as calm as he did he, he was that particular day and continued what he was doing with, without showing any any overt annoyance, is is a person to copy for every public public servant. Because you see when, at the point in time that it was happening, I had a riot of ideas in my head. I said, who is this man representing? Where is he coming from? A party agent. Who could he be talking to? Because you see, in, in politics, it could it will always be tomorrow, the moment I start doing that, go ahead and start and roll out your whatever and start rioting. So it wasn't a plan that. by the party? No, it couldn't have been. It was on his own. It was purely on his own. And then you could have, see, the, the ideas that were coming into my head, but you see, events that change history hang on tiny chances. That disturbance, disruptor of that event would have snowballed into some, a conflagration. It could have enveloped this country in something that we, I mean, at that point in time, it was like, just light a, a, a match. And it goes. And I'm also quite happy with the fact that the, the president considered defeat before the election 
result was announced. It was so strategic, and we thank him for that. Because the, if he waited until the election was announced, the result was announced, he couldn't have been able to contain people who probably would be so aggrieved by the, either the uh, election result and all of that. And it will need to, he will need to record them from the streets. All right, let, let, let's, to. let's close with this. Do you then think that uh, moving forward uh, after this presidential elections, political parties will then begin to focus on key issues that the people want and present the people who the people can find worthy to vote to elect into office? Yeah, I can summarize it by way of saying from now on, manifestos will count what you want to do for the people because they now have the power to either ask you to go ahead and do it or ask you to go with your ideas. All right, Mr. George K is a member of the People's Democratic Party and a legal practitioner. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you so much. We'll be back after the break. We'll have another perspective on this matter. Don't go away.